Hello brethren, I welcome you once again. My name is Kasani. This is Bible Facts Existence Africa and today again we're going to look at the Bible study from the book of Genesis chapter 10 verse 9. And today I thank God for those who have managed to subscribe to our channel and always visit our channels on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter and also YouTube. Share this video and always remember you are preaching the gospel if you do so. This is Bible Facts Existence Africa. Let us go in our study. Kindly pray with me before we start. Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. As we are going to study thy word, touch our heart, touch our mind. Send the Holy Spirit to guide us in all understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Before the flood, Noah and his sons, they came out of the boat, and Noah had three sons, and Noah gave birth to a son, and his sons gave birth to a son called Cush. Cush gave birth to a son called Nimrod. Nimrod was a great hunter before the Lord in those times. Noah became a great hunter before the Lord. He had a kingdom and he was connected or building the Tower of Babel. Nimrod means rebellion and Babel means confusion. Nimrod built the tower to a high according to the book of Josephus, Jewish book chapter 1 verse 4 in that book and Jewish antiquities it says that Nimrod built this tower in order to protect humanity in those days if God had a mind of fill the earth with a flood again and Nimrod wanted to revenge against God for killing their four fathers. Now this is the birth of paganism. Nimrod has a wife who was called Samiramis. Samiramis engaged in adultery and he get pregnant. Nimrod, he died and Samiramis declared his death and said Nimrod had appeared in the sun so that when he gave birth to a son, they gave the son the name called Tammuz. You can read that in the book of Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 14 to 16. Samiramis declared his son as the God's son. They started worshipping his son on Sunday, sunny day. So Nimrod, he said it was incarnation because Nimrod had died. He went in the sun and conceived his wife. So this son was considered as the virgin birth. Because this came to happen, Satan had succeeded in his mission of attempting Adam and Eve, our first parent. Now God cast the serpent and said, On your belly thou shalt walk and all the days of your life. And I put the enmity between your seed and her seed. Remember the seed comes from the woman. Now they did this to start the counterfeit. That's why we see people in a church, in a Roman Catholic church, that Mary carrying a baby in a form of Jesus, but that is Samiramis and Tammuz. That is the original birth of paganism. So Satan knew that God will provide a virgin birth. That is Jesus and Mary. You can read that in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 
26. You read that story, we all know that. Now, this battle of paganism, it started from that day. Because God came to destroy the world because he saw that every imagination of human being, it was evil continually. And all earth was corrupt with violence and people, they were very evil before the Lord. And Lord decided to blow out everything. Noah and his family, they found favor before the Lord. Nimrod built the Tower of Babel in order to revenge against their forefathers because God had destroyed the whole world. So they built the Tower of Babel to reach heaven so that they can revenge against God. And God saw that they was too high and God sent an angel and they confused their language. That's why the name Bible means confusion. So today, we started with the birth of paganism. We see all generations, God tried to warn the world because God wanted people to worship him alone. So people had started doing what is not right before the Lord. Remember, the first four commandments, the commandment has two tablets. The one tablet, it has the commandment four. And the other commandment has six. The, fa the first four commandment is between God and his people or our relation with God because God gave us instruction or to have a strong relations with our God and the other six commandment God gives us instruction to have a good connection with our friends our brothers with our fellow beings the first commandment says there is no other God before me we shall worship no other gods we shall not worship any created image in a likeness in heaven or earth or beneath under the waters of the earth. So the birth of paganism, it was taking away attention from God. People started worshiping craved images. We see Moses or Moses when he was coming from uh, Egyptian, when he spent 40 days, when he had gone to meet the Lord, he found people they had craved an image of a cattle or an animal, they worshiping it. So on that day, 23,000, they fall because they were not obedient before the Lord. The first four commandments are the only commandment shows that we, ha we are obedient to our God or we hear God's voice. For example, Adam and Eve, they didn't listen to God's voice. They listened to another voice that was a sin before the Lord because God had given them a commandment that you shall not touch of this tree or eat of it. If not, you will surely die. They had another voice whereby Satan came and told them, you will not surely die. So God started revealing all the plan because God talked to us through the prophets in old times. But in this time, God talked to us through Jesus, his son. Okay? So, now here things come to happen when you read the book of daniel king nebuchadnezzar had a dream of a big statue this had four kingdoms and the last kingdom it the last kingdom or on the statue the last part it was iron and iron represents the roman empire in those days we shall go on that times and we, we shall go that section also we get to know about this statue now the battle of paganism started that day Satan in his mission he wanted to destroy human being before the Lord that they he should not perish alone because in Revelation he read Revelation 12 verse 16 and said there was a one a one heaven Michael and his angel they fought against the dragon and the, the dragon was harrowed down on earth that was Satan. His first mission was going to destroy God's work. That was Adam and Eve. And he told them, the Lord doesn't want you to know the good and, and bad. If you eat of this tree, you'll be like him. He doesn't want you to know. He lied to them because he coined the question. They get to know that what he was saying, it was really right. Okay. 
Now friends, I want you always to read your Bible because we have to know these things. Why? Because in the book of Revelation again, chapter 14, verse 6, with three, three angels, the first angels say, Worship God, give him glory, give him honor. That who created the heavens and the earth, spring of, spring of the waters, and honor him. And the second angel also does the same. And the third angel says, Babylon, Babylon, that great city is fallen. Get out of my people, that you shall not share his iniquities. So this angel, they are calling us to worship God. To worship God. When you go back in Genesis, God, after creating the world, he rested on the sixth day. After on the sixth day, creating everything on the seventh day, he rested. Because the first four commandments, the third commandment says, You shall keep my Sabbath holy. On that day, you shall not do anything. We shall bring the information about that day. So, people, they started changing God's law on that sunny day where they worship God Temuz. I told you you can read that in the book of Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 14. So the devil started doing things backwards. They said on the seventh day you shall worship your God. They say on the first day of the week you worship your God. So the paganism that day started in those days of Tammuz. Okay, so we shall get to know all these things because God wants us to know these things. God wants us to know the truth. Because if you know you don't know the truth, you know nothing. Because it says if you know the truth and the truth will set you free. Brethren, I want you always to grab your Bible when you hear these things and get to know what God wants you to know. Don't follow anyone's what they say. Don't follow your pastor. Read the Bible because the Bible is clear and the Bible interprets itself. I always tell you in the comment below you can talk to me you can talk to us you can always ask questions on a description table there is our contact you can call us or you can whatsapp us you can even use those social media platform to reach us tiktok instagram twitter and youtube we have a page on facebook bible facts existence africa friends i want you always to know the truth because God want us to worship only him because the day is coming in the image King Nebuchadnezzar had the last of it King Nebuchadnezzar saw a stone that was cut not by any hand but the hand of God, of God and smote that image into powder and the wind came and smashed all the powder of that statue represents that all this kingdom or all, all this earth it will be smart because the day is coming if you read the book of revelation very soon and that we are on the toes of this image very soon the kingdom of god is coming ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 because god is coming to take a charge without a spot or echo because god wants us to be well equipped second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 because it says Every scripture is inspired by God and has a teaching, reproof, correction, that every man of God may be equipped in everything he needs. The first four commandments shows our relationship with God because God has a sign. The sign of God is his Sabbath. Because in Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 12, he says, Thou I give you my Sabbaths, as a sign between me and you that people they may know that I'm your God who sanctifies you Sabbath is the sign of the Lord on the Sabbath day is the day we worship God not any other day because God says the hand of God wrote these commandments no one should tell you that the commandments were removed that is a false teaching because the devil is preaching that gospel you remember we had the lesson about the explosion of spiritualism because that is the gospel of spiritualism started on the day when they lied Adam and Eve and tell them you shall not surely die. It is the same gospel they say you can worship God on the first day. God is not a man to lie. When he says this and or we think he says this, that is not God's 
wants us to be. Because our God worship is not a God of confusion. If he wants to talk to you, he speaks to you in language that we all understand. God talked through us through his son, Jesus Christ. And this day, it will be on the judgment day, the day or the sign showing our obedience. And also Satan has his day. And the sign of Satan, we all know, it is the Sunday that is the mark of the beast. Because the revelation, the second angel says, anyone who worships the image or the beast and receives his image in a forehead on his arm. Because if you receive the mark of the beast, that means you are of the devil or you are of the Satan. Because God gave us his signs. Because God says, if you love me, you will do my commandments. Which means we shall hear what God says. Because God gave us the instruction that we should do. You should start focusing your relationship with God and always get to know what really the Bible said. Not what your pastor tells you to do. We all hear God's voice. Read your Bible. I always tell you, the Bible interprets itself. Brethren, I want you to understand this thing, that the day is near. The Lord is soon coming. Okay? The Lord is soon coming. I want you to be ready because the Lord doesn't want any one of us to perish because he loves us all equally. But the God will, be, will wait until we all get to know the truth. Even though it's like that, God is patient, but he will not wait forever. The time is will come, God will not wait forever. The time will come because he says he will separate. He separate us. Those are his, they will be having the sign of God. Another example you read in Exodus, when Musa, when the firstborns of Egypt, they died, there was a sign, the blood of the lamb, they smote it on the doorpost on the doorpost the angel of destruction when he came to kill the firstborns when he saw the blood he could not enter in that house where because that blood was represents the blood of jesus or the blood of the lamb that was a sign so when the judgment day come and you don't have the sign of god the seven plagues of revelation when they come when you don't have that sign of god i'm sure God will not be had mercy because God had warned us all generation to this generation. And this is the last generation according to prophecy. So we need to read the Bible. We need to check ourselves and we get to know what really God wants. God should not be like people of this generation. God wants us to know things. God, God is always telling people and the Holy Spirit is always to guide us to understand everything that we need to know about future. Brethren, my name is Kasani. We shall continue with another lesson on the next day if God gives us a gift of life. And always thank you. And I will call it everyone to subscribe to this channel and always share these videos with your friends, with your family. And always remember to like our page on Instagram, like us on Facebook, TikTok follow us for more. You can ask. You need to be prayed for. Please let us know on that contact in the description table. Reach us and always don't forget to spread this gospel. If you can't watch it, give it to a friend because they tell us whoever listens to this will be blessed and that one who does what the gospel says is the blessed. I love you all brethren. And I always feel blessed, me myself, to share this message with you. If God will bless you, he will not forget me too, who is a messenger to you. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, I thank you for this day. And I always thank you, Lord, for teaching us to give us the Holy Spirit to guide us in all understanding. Dear Lord, give us your wisdom to understand and always be with us protect us and guide us in everything bless each and everyone who watch this video and share it in jesus name i pray amen